Hello YouTube, it's Silver Age Dave. Today is Friday the 13th. Be very scared. It's quarantine time. Uh, I am actually not very scared. I'm going to make lemonade out of this thing. Uh, let's start with my uh, Copa warning. Uh, right? What's that sign say? No bare feet. What's that sign say? Well, it says no kiddos. I added that myself, but I mean it. If you are a kid, don't jeopardize the Silver Age Dave channel. Come back when you're not a kid. I don't know, maybe it's 18. Whatever they say, let's just do that, guys. Uh, you're important to me, but if you're a kid, this channel's boring. You don't want to watch this. Go watch something fun like Pokemon or, you know, who knows? I don't even know what's fun anymore. Uh, for me, it used to be Magilla Gorilla. I loved Magilla Gorilla. That was a great show. But whatever you kids watch today, watch that and come back later. And, uh, and I'll be here for you. So am I kicking you out? No, but I'm telling you, come back later. Yes, Mr. Chris, they got to come back later. That's Mr. Chris Lackey, everybody. He's joining me. Even though it's a quarantine, uh, I've got my friend Mr. Chris all the way from Indiana. And uh, we're going to ride this storm out. We're going to be just fine. Uh, so what have I been doing in the quarantine? Uh, I have been stocking up on the essentials. Uh, on a positive note, I've got six kids. Uh, I've got a mother-in-law who's staying with me uh, temporarily while we have a sick family member in the hospital and um, uh, my sister-in-law. And uh, the good thing we are never short on is toilet paper. So while the whole world is scrambling for toilet paper, we are, uh, you know, st we've stockpiled the stuff. Okay, we had that done before all this uh, pandemic stuff happened. So we're good to go there. Now, I did get to Meyer store, which is, for us, it, it's kind of like a Walmart or a Kmart or something like that. Uh, we've had Meyer stores forever. I did get there late last night, and I couldn't believe the, the aisles were picked over. But what did they have? Exactly what I was looking for. They had stuffed blue cheese olives. They had tonic water. Uh, they had this mixer, uh, Mrs. Silver Age Dave drinks a vodka, and it's like an imported lemon pop of some kind. And um, they had a, a bunch of that stuff. So I stocked up on all that, uh, and I think I bought coffee creamer, and uh, and it wasn't that much stuff that I bought. But I stocked up on the essentials. When the governor of Ohio says the kids cannot go back to school, one thing I can guarantee you need is cocktail mixers. That's how we're going to survive this. Uh, I am quarantined in the comic room right now, and I, I got to tell you, I love it. I'm not opposed to this at all. Uh, for the next three weeks, I'm going to focus on this place. Uh, I am reorganizing. I'm taking stuff apart that has been an eyesore to me and a headache to me for a long time. This area right here is one of those areas. Uh, shout out to Bad Avenger, who pointed out these Squarier books a long, long time ago, uh, he uh, he did a stand up and clap moment on one of his videos, and I love them. Most beautiful art you ever did see, and uh, so I've got my my couple squares I forgot I even had, and and there they are. Uh, tricky um, title to collect because there's uh, different volumes out there, and it's hard to tell which is which. But uh, anyway. Um, I'm cleaning things up. I'm, uh, I replaced all my damp rids yesterday. I had let those go a little bit. So there's a really nice dry smell in the comic room. Not smelling like newsprint, just smelling nice. And uh, so, like I said, I'm using this time to organize and file and, uh, and just making the most of it. You know, life's going to throw you lemons quite often and you just make the best out of it. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I'll have a normal work schedule and I'll have the kids at home, but, um, but that's okay. You know, dad can still get away and play with the comic books and to protect the room from coronavirus, as always, no kids allowed. We don't want them in here, uh, touching everything. So when they need comics to read, I hand them the comics and I have other comic spaces and other books that, that they can get into. But, uh, this space is, a you know, grown-up zone of comics. Uh, I have been cutting up more of these. I found a treasure trove of styrofoam recently, a big construction project in our our, uh, our little town, 
And uh, this is what they use underneath concrete steps and patios. Uh, you know, it's not just four feet deep of concrete. It's all these foam blocks that they stack in there. And then, um, and then they pour the concrete over the top, I think is what happens. Well, they had all these scraps they were going to put in a dumpster. And I saw those when I was out running one day. And I ended up going back and I said, hey, you're not throwing that out, are you? And they said, we are. And I said, can I have it? They said, back your van in here. Take all you want. So I got miles of the stuff and I'm cutting them up and I'm using them. Uh, Alex Comicorder gave me a great tip two or three years ago when I started this mass overhaul. He said, make sure you leave plenty of space. And, uh, and I did a few things right. And uh, so now... As I'm, I'm still going, I have run out of space a couple of times, but not in a massive way like I used to. The massive way that used to really just, you know, nuke the whole operation. I'd get so tired and I'd give up. Now, I've I developed a great system for it. I'll probably do a video. If people want, I'll do a big rundown video on organizing a comic room. But Alex Comic Order gave me that tip early, early on in the overhaul process. Uh, and uh, and I'm grateful to him for that. Hopefully all's well. Uh, another Indiana guy. There's two Indiana shout-outs. Might as well shout out Seawood and R. Wheatley, as long as we're shouting out Indiana. And uh, who else is in there? The Admiral um, um, Hoosier Nerd. He's in Indiana. A lot of Indiana collectors. I'm proud to proud to know. So, um, no Fantasticon this weekend. Pretty disappointing. I'll just do a longer walk-around video if that's okay. Uh, I think with everyone sequestered, uh, maybe people will want to, you know, hear more about comic books. I don't know. Whoop! A little battle. This guy, this tank rolled over this guy, I guess. Let me fix them up. Uh, this is, um, I, right here I've got three generations of the toy soldiers there's the ad you know when we were kids you couldn't wait for these things to arrive and it was always the joy you would expect which lasted you know back then there was no cable tv or video games but uh, you know the the joy of these things didn't last that that long but uh, that's three generations of them and uh, maybe i'll do a video on these someday um, there's different uh colors and patterns one of these even has a little marbling to it so it looks the same but when you get them up close you can see where the color um, the color runs were a little different so anyway we've got those and um, I'll talk about organization I'll, I'll do some of that stuff um, but I think a lot of people if you're going to be sequestered uh, you know, YouTube comic community auctions are, you just turn the thing on and there's an auction. Uh, there hasn't been as much content that is, uh, I'm going to say collector based information and just, you know, admiration of comics. I was watching comic mag musings last night and, um, he had a, a short live stream. He did very fun channel bill. I think it is. And, um, and uh, had some laughs, and, you know, I uh, I decided, oh, show more books. You know, I didn't want him to hang up, and uh, so to speak. And uh, so he showed some more books, and, and I really enjoyed that. So we don't have Fantasticon, and, and that is a big disappointment. They canceled that. Everything in Ohio is canceled. It's really crazy. And uh, so Bub's Comics was supposed to drive from Kentucky here to uh, Toledo tonight. We're going to hang out, hunt some beers down, talk comics, maybe do a, a co-live stream. I don't know exactly. We didn't really make a plan, but Green Man said it would be a good idea to do a live stream. So I think we're going to do something like that. That's canceled. And tomorrow, my friends from uh, YouTube friends from Cincinnati uh ron bob and kevin we're gonna drive in and we're gonna hunt comics all day the big group of us and uh, then hunt beers and pizzas by night and come back and hang out in the comic room and laugh and uh just have a great old time so that's canceled i had some uh some local friends randy and brad and jason and dave and uh there's some uh Hagee jedi uh, maybe he was going to stop over and, uh, and, you know, have a beer or two and talk comics. So the whole weekend kind of went kapooey 
really quick. And I, I'm a guy that I try not to make things about me, but sometimes they are. The uh, last three, four months have been very um, straining with a, uh, a family member in, uh, in the hospital ICU. And, you know, it's been a mess. So I was really looking forward to a guy weekend. And, uh, and Bubs even offered to come up still. And I thought, oh, well, you know, we can just go to comic stores and that. But in retrospect, you go through ebbs and flows in life. And this is a service flow uh, that, that Silver's going through. So uh, I'm going to take the weekend. Now that it's quarantine, I have the best immune system in the family. Uh, and so I'm going to be doing more hospital visits and my wife and my mother-in-law are going to be more home-based and, uh, you know, I'll, um, FaceTime them. And so they can talk to my sister-in-law that way, uh, without, you know, any, uh, immunity risks, uh, that come with hospital visits. But long story short, I really needed a guy's weekend. And, um, when the Fantastic Con canceled, I thought, man, this is... You know, maybe these guys will still come up. And then as I got thinking about it, um, I'm going to hope that there's another weekend in my future that we can do all that stuff. And uh, so Bub's Comics, I still want you in Toledo. I still wish you were here, but I'm going to put the, you know, the the lost Fantastic on time to, to where it's best spent. And uh, we'll get that, that guy's weekend another weekend. Uh, I've been running a ton. Uh, this week, I'm probably somewhere in the 60-mile range uh, maybe actually I'm probably 70 miles or more. Uh, I ran a marathon a few days ago, just, just by myself, just for fun. Uh, two days before that I ran 20 miles and the day before that I ran 10 and a half miles. So, uh, mile just ticking up. Uh, I've got a hundred mile I signed up for in, um, in the end of July. That's in Akron, Ohio area. So that's Biggie Shack zone. And uh, so I'm training for that. I was going to run the Toledo Glass City Marathon. That's like April 27th or so, somewhere there. Uh, but instead of that, what I'm going to do, uh, Silver's birthday is in April. And so I think what I'm going to do, either on my birthday or on the day of Glass City Marathon, I'm going to run my age. Uh, I have, uh, you know, in the in the running community, I know people who do that. Uh, I've never done it because my birthday and Glass City Marathon are right on top of each other. But I think I'm going to save the hundred or so dollars signing up for Glass City, hundred twenty, and I, I'm going to put that in my pocket, and I'm just going to go run fifty something miles, and uh, and that'll be how I spend either my birthday or that that day that I would normally be paying for a marathon. I'll go do that myself, and uh, and that will help me build towards the 100 mile race in late July. That's a hot, hot place to run, uh, you know, that part of the summer. So I'll be doing some heat training as soon as it warms up enough. And uh, just how do you run 100 miles? You just lots of time on your feet. And, um, and that's how you get through. Anyway, guys, that's it. I wanted to give you an update. If, if life throws you lemons, make lemonade. It's simple as that. Uh, if you guys would like, I think I'm ready to do a big overhaul organization video uh, where I talk about some of the tips and tricks and things I've discovered and things that have helped. And uh, I think I'm ready. Uh, I do want to do a video. Maybe I'll do a live stream uh, one of these days. I want to talk about these guys here. And uh, some of you know what those are. Some of you don't. I'm not going to gonna say right now, but I'll do a video on that. Maybe some oddities. Uh, we'll show and talk about that's always fun stuff the stuff you don't see every day is the stuff that uh, people routinely say that's what I love seeing and uh, uh, so maybe we'll do some videos on that stuff the ultimate man megalith I thought I was the ultimate man now nah, we all know that's Alan Garrett all right guys that's it I want to do a shout out thank you uh, when I went on to my channel today uh, I haven't really checked uh, subscriber numbers, but it says 2.49 thousand subscribers, which is uh, knocking on the door. I got to be within nine, right, of uh, of 2,500. So uh, that's a big deal. My humble, heartfelt appreciation to anyone who watches uh, and uh, and supports, or you know, anyone who, who's offered friendship. I so appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm thinking of you, 
keep yourself safe and healthy. Read some comics. That's a great thing about being quarantined is lots of time to read comics. So that's it. No big secret there, right? Stanley, Silver Age Dave, wishing you the best. Silver Age Dave is out.